Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be talking about some awesome changes that Blizzard just announced that they plan on doing for Season of Discovery. And these changes are going to be attempts to have faction balance in Classic WoW, which is something that is very hard to do, especially on PvP servers. And so they announced some systems and plans that they want to implement in order to further that goal of faction balance which will be really awesome especially with um the ashenvale pvp zone that they're doing and a few other things that they plan on doing and having people be a part of that world i think will be really awesome to see but before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I am going to switch it over here to the Wowhead post of the blue post, and it says... <clears throat> hey everyone, I'm Fripples, also known as Tom. I'm a senior producer on the World of Warcraft server and live ops team, and I would like to share what we are preparing for the realms with the upcoming launch of Season of Discovery. You may have noticed with the launch of Classic Hardcore that there are, weren't a lot of realms. Was Hardcore's launch a small experience? Heck no! Hardcore continues to be experienced by a large number of players, and we have been thrilled to see so many players, new and old, join in to experience World of Warcraft Classic in a new, exciting way. At the on outset of any launch, our goal has always been to create a healthy, enduring realms, and behind the scenes, we deployed tech in patch 1.1. 4.4 that allowed us to significantly increase the realm capacity of a single classic era realm with this higher realm capacity and fewer realms we avoided the need for disruptive character migration options as realm populations ebbed and flowed for season of discovery we are going to repeat this process we will launch a handful of realms that can support a lot of players so you can feel confident in your choice of any realm please note that we will actively manage realm size at launch so you might see sporadic queues as, as the population spread out and we ensure realm sizes remain roughly equal if season of discovery proves hugely popular as we think it might we will of course be ready with additional realms if needed please look forward to the announcement of launch realms names and types soon so this is essentially just saying that they tested something new with hardcore it seemed to work really really well what you guys saw was me on the hardcore server just how many people were in stormwind uh, just running around doing whatever on uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. You know, that should go to show you how many people are actually playing the game and enjoying it. So that's really awesome. And that tech should be implemented in Season of Discovery, which will make Season of Discovery really, really cool. However, this is the big news that I want to talk about these last two paragraphs. Another topic that comes up each time we talk about realms is faction balance on PvP realms. We've received a lot of feedback on this since 2019. We hear you, and with Season of Discovery, we're going to try something new. This season's PvP realms have been designed to maintain faction balance as they grow. Right here, which is kind of insane how they're going to attempt to implement this. They've never done anything like this, and the ability to do this, and I, I hope it's great, but I could see it be bottlenecking the player base and people getting really upset if they can't play with their friends, can't play on the server or faction they want because their friends are there. That's the only thing that I worry about. But it says, yes, this is actually happening. However, there's a potential cost to this faction balance that we want to make sure you're aware of. If one faction is significantly more dominant on a PvP realm, there's a very real likelihood that faction selection may be temporarily limited on that realm. That said, our overarching goal for Season of Discovery is for it to be a fun and smooth experience, and we are prepared to change course if necessary. Your requests for faction balance have been heard loud and clear. This is a new direction for us and one that we're excited to try. Again, this feature will only be turned on for our Season of Discovery PvP round. So if you're on a PvE round, 
don't have to worry about anything. He'll be able to do whatever you want. But for PvP realms, it will be very, very restrictive and only allow, uh, you know, if there's a too big of a faction imbalance, they won't let you make that character. You will always be able to roll either faction as you wish on PvE realms. We encourage everyone who isn't committed to the challenges and difficulties of PvP to consider a non-PvP realm for Season of Discovery. As an old WoW veteran myself, I can tell you playing on a balanced PvP a balanced faction pvp realm can be a double-edged sword there are also fun new challenges that await but also potential hindrances that you may not expect so your favorite farming spots might be a little more spicy than you're used to we think season we think this season is going to be a lot of fun and these changes will help ensure every realm enjoys a great experience all season long and we're excited and looking forward to adding some extra seasonings to season of discoveries pvp realms so that is the end of the post. Um, like I said, I think this is a possibly a great change. The only con and concern I have, and I played on Scarum PvP for Classic Lunch. It was close to balanced um, up until Phase 2 when uh, PvP Honor System came out. Then Onslaught uh, annihilated the entire alliance side. But it felt like at most 40 60 in horde's favor until world pvp became useful and getting all that honor did um that was kind of crazy how they single-handedly exterminated a faction on a server but anyway um the only concern i have is that those restrictions being applied like i'd love to see the threshold is it going to be like 40 60 is acceptable because i think that's fine um, that gives you good interaction, good PvP interaction. At the end of the day, people are just going to group up in raid groups and roam together. Classic PvP isn't all that. Like, everyone dreams of this 1v1. I'm in STV being a rogue, ganking someone, and well, yeah, you can do that. Chances are, then they call their friends, and then it's just raid on raid combat, and the server lags out, and it's just Mages Preston, Arcane Explosion, Zephyr, Blizzard etc and everyone just aoeing and it's not actual good pvp that's in a one-on-one -on -one situation um so i i just worry that the restriction might be too much but it's season of discovery give us them all let's see the changes let's see them work out you know if blizzard can pull this off this change i think it can lead to some very healthy pvp combat and bring back sort of pvp in a while because not many people play it even on retail nowadays so it'd be really cool to see that but those are my thoughts and opinions on this change definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below i love reading them and i love talking about all this stuff because i think it could be a huge change for uh wow and could put it in the right direction but anyway that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.